If you're looking to optimize your Twitter profile, you need to have a great looking header image. Luckily, there are some easy tools available that you can use to make Twitter headers for free. Hey YouTube, it's Lucas here from Snappa, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a Twitter header using free customizable templates. Let's get into it. Before we start designing, let's quickly go over the recommended dimensions. Your Twitter header size should be 1500 pixels by 500 pixels. There's also a small section in the bottom left corner that will be covered by your Twitter profile picture, so it's important to keep this in mind when you're adding design elements to your header. To make things easy, we're going to use Snappa to design our Twitter header because the correct dimensions are already built in. It only takes a few seconds to make a free account, and then you can scroll down and click the Twitter header size. Feel free to check out all of our customizable templates. Once you find something you like, you can just click on it to start designing. Right off the bat, you'll notice that the safe zones are active. When clicking this toggle, Snappa will show you the area of your header that will be covered by your profile picture, so make sure that you don't put any design elements here. Now the first thing I want to do is change the text. Let's say that my Twitter account is called Tech Tweets. I can double click the text box and then type it in with my keyboard. And using the toolbar on the left, I can change the font and I can also change the size of my text as well. Now I want to edit the smaller text boxes, so I'm going to double click and write daily updates and the best tech deals. The next thing I want to do is change the background image. If I click on the backgrounds tab to the left, I can search through a huge stock image library with millions of photos. And once I find a photo I like, I'm going to click on it to add it to my canvas. Now that we have our background photo, I'm going to click on the shapes tab to add a border. I can click on the rectangle border shape to add it, and then I can drag the points to resize the border across my canvas. I can then use the toolbar on the left to change the border color to black. Now I'm going to go back into the shapes tab to add a line between the photo and the text box. I can drag the arrow to rotate it, and drag the points to resize and reposition it. I'm also going to change this shape color to black as well. Feel free to use the safe zone toggle throughout the design process to see how your full image will look, but just remember that these safe zones will not be visible in your downloaded image. Alright, so now that we're finished designing, I'm going to rename the header image by clicking the pen icon at the top. Then, I'm going to save it to avoid losing any progress, and I'm going to download it as a Retina JPEG for the highest quality and best results. The next step is to upload our header image to Twitter. Once you're logged in, just click Profile in the menu on the left, and then click Edit Profile. Hover your mouse over the camera icon and click Add Photo. Then you can choose your image file and click Open. You'll get a quick visual preview of how it's going to look, and you can click Save to publish your changes. And just like that, we have a professional looking Twitter header that only took a few minutes to make. Well, that's all for today's video. If you learned something new, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.